Welcome back. Joining us now is Roger Hall, the city engineer for Rapid City and construction group coordinator Jordan Atkins. Starting off, let's talk about completed or near completed projects here. All right, well, I'll, I'll let Jordan kick off with what we've uh, kind of finished up here this year. So, yeah, <laughs> thanks for having us this yeah, morning. Thank you yep. for coming uh, on. We've had some great projects that finished up. Uh, one of them is the 7th Street downtown. Uh, it was a mill and overlay, so mm -hmm. right where the downtown nights are at. So you'll kind of see that there's a fresh blacktop and fresh new painting. It's right, a great right. project that it, it went off really well. Mm -hmm. uh, Mickelson Drive, that's connecting East Anamosa to Highway 44. That one should be finishing up in the next week and a half. Um, Sedevi Lane. That's another crucial project kind of on the commercial side between Highway 44 and mm -hmm. St. Pat. Um, that one's near completion ahead of schedule and then the downtown street um, striping. As you can see, the new crosswalk right. and all that have been updated. So, Well, it's going to be nice for some of our viewers to kind of get around town at, the, uh, you know, at this rate. And so kind of talking a little bit about some more upcoming projects. What are we looking at here in Rapid City? Yeah, well, we've got some ongoing projects and uh, we want to kind of focus on those because they're impacting some school zones and everything else. Mm -hmm. The big one, obviously, is the Sheridan Lake Road project down there between Catron and, mm -hmm. and uh, Corral Drive. Right, right. Uh, that one there, we're going to do something new this year. We're going to work uh, at, at night, uh, starting Sunday night, the 18th, right? Uh, yep. To kick off uh, Sunday night and pave through the night. It's a little cooler, a little right, safer right. for people. And so. you said the Sheridan Lake Road project, right? Right. Right. And we have some graphics here that you guys yeah. provided for us and we can see kind of on yep. screen there, uh, just some of the, the, the maps that you guys sent us. So mm -hmm. can you kind of explain exactly uh, a little bit more in depth uh, kind of what, where's what, what's going on, stuff like that? That's Jordan's department. All right. <laughs> yeah. This is a great project. As you can see, this is where Corral Drive comes into Sheridan Lake Road. Um, they're going to be a double uh, turn lane. It's opening a wide open. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also doing that also on Corral Drive. And so, you know, with school traffic and people getting in and out of town, this is going to be a huge advantage. Right. Um, and, and as we take a look at the video here real quick that, uh, you know, you were able to provide yeah. for us right here, uh, giving you guys at home more of a visual of what's going on or kind of what the plan is. Uh, could you kind of walk us through this video? Yeah. So you can see the West Lanes right now. They're working um, diligently mm -hmm. to get this graveled and getting it ready for paving there on um, basically the, the night of the 18th, August 18th. They're going to basically start um, a few hundred feet away from Corral Drive and they're going to make their way up to Sunshine Trail, which is just right before um, that church that you'll see up to your right hand side. So mm -hmm. they're, they're working well, utilities are going in. Um, and we also kind of got a, a wildwood closure that's anticipated for the next eight weeks. Mm -hmm. They're working really fast and trying to get ahead of schedule there so we can get that open back up for all those residents in that area. All right. Well, um, is there anything else kind of regarding this project, uh, Roger? Yeah, we should, that, yeah we, he, he mentioned the closure of the wildwood uh, mm -hmm. north entrance. The south entrance will remain open. Uh, we're going to provide some additional flagging for the first days of mm -hmm. school down there to help people through. But uh, those people, that's the final phase of a project up in that area. So they've been impacted right. for a few years up in there and we're anxious to get that project completed this year and put them on new streets, new right, water, right. new sewer, so. <laughs> that's exciting. And is there anything else, I mean, kind of regarding any upcoming projects, anything the public should know kind of for the month? Yeah, the second project we want to talk about, we call our Southeast Area Trunk Sewer. And all the trunk sewer is, is a major trunk uh, sewer line, a large mm -hmm. sewer line that conveys that. But we also include uh, storm sewer in there. There's a major box culvert going through there, and there's uh, a lot of work. Uh, that one there will affect South Middle School. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we've been working down there most of the year already. Uh, South Middle School is under construction, so mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot of activity down there. And that'll have an impact, uh, particularly to the kids that walk the school more than anything else. Right, so. right. And then finally here, kind of just wrapping up, I know we'll have more time, uh, you know, kind of at the beginning of each month, yep. since this is going to be a reoccurring monthly segment from now on. Um, where can people find more information about this? Since it's, it's crucial to get this information out there for the public, so where can they find all this information? Well, the first one is on Sheridan Lake Road. Mm -hmm. uh, go to SheridanLakeRoad.com. There's a website run by Avid, Eng Avid for Engineering. Mm -hmm. They maintain it and provide weekly updates. And if they have any questions, there's a link on there they can ask mm -hmm. questions and stuff like that. The other one is to go to rcgov.org and we have a construction update uh, link on that one too and they can go to every project that we have active in Rapid City including our developments including anything that impacts the traveling public.